The discovery of Neanderthal remains has significantly enriched our understanding of human evolution. The first Neanderthal face to be recognized, belonging to a woman from the Rock of Gibraltar, was found in the mid-19th century, a period marked by social and liberal revolutions in Europe. This discovery, along with another Neanderthal skull from the Feldhofer cave in Germany, introduced the concept of an ancient human species distinct from modern humans. However, the full significance of these finds was not immediately recognized due to prevailing scientific limitations and biases. It was only with advancements in genetic analysis that the true nature of these findings came to light. The Gibraltar skull was confirmed to be female, a fact initially overshadowed by the focus on Neanderthal genetic lineage. This revelation marked a shift from traditional male-centric interpretations of Neanderthal society. Earlier conceptions, often influenced by sketches like Thomas Huxley's 1864 depiction, predominantly cast Neanderthal women in peripheral domestic roles. Recent research has begun to paint a more nuanced picture of Neanderthal women, suggesting they played various active roles in their communities. This perspective challenges the stereotype of Neanderthal women being confined solely to domestic duties. Evidence now points to their participation in activities such as hunting, tool-making, and other essential survival tasks. From infancy, Neanderthal children were likely raised in a communal setting, learning crucial survival skills from an early age. This environment would have been integral in shaping their development and understanding of the world. As they grew, their societal roles would have likely diverged along gender lines influenced by various biological, social and environmental factors. In adulthood, the lives of Neanderthal women were probably multifaceted. They may have engaged in hunting smaller game, contributing significantly to their community's food resources. They likely also played a role in communal activities and were involved in the creation and maintenance of tools. This involvement would have been essential for the survival and advancement of Neanderthal groups. Study shows Neanderthal women's lives from menstruation to childbirth also had communal support and shared knowledge. This perspective offers a glimpse into the social structures and support systems that might have existed in Neanderthal societies. Physical evidence from Neanderthal remains provides insights into their lifestyles. The differences in limb bone strength and wear patterns between genders suggest varied daily activities and roles. Women's limb bones, for example, indicate less travel over rough terrain compared to men, and their arm development points to activities that required bilateral strength, such as hide working. The integration of Neanderthals with Homo sapiens, particularly through interbreeding, is a significant aspect of their history. This genetic interchange, evident in modern human DNA, suggests a complex history of interaction between the two species. It underscores the influence of Neanderthal traits and genes on the evolution of modern humans. This new understanding of Neanderthal society, especially regarding the roles of women, challenges long-standing biases and highlights the need for a more balanced and comprehensive appreciation of our ancient ancestors. The historical stereotype of Neanderthals as primitive and solely focused on survival is now being reconsidered in light of these findings. The communal aspect of Neanderthal life, as suggested by the evidence, 
points to a society where collaboration and shared responsibilities were crucial. The roles of women in these societies were not just limited to child-rearing and domestic tasks, but extended to actively participating in the group's survival and well-being. In terms of child-rearing, Neanderthal women likely played a central role in nurturing and educating the young, passing on essential skills and knowledge. This process would have been vital for the continuity and advancement of their communities. The communal nature of these societies might have also meant that child-rearing responsibilities were shared among group members, reflecting a collective approach to survival and growth. The hunting activities of Neanderthal women, as indicated by archaeological evidence, challenged the traditional view of hunting as a predominantly male activity. Women may have hunted smaller game and participated in gathering activities, contributing significantly to their group's food supply. This involvement in hunting and gathering would have been crucial for the group's survival, especially in harsh environmental conditions. The tool-making skills of Neanderthal women are another area of interest. The development and use of tools were essential for various activities, including hunting, food preparation, and hide working. Women's involvement in tool making would have been a significant contribution to their community's technological advancement. The social dynamics within Neanderthal groups, as suggested by the evidence, were likely complex. The roles and relationships between individuals would have been influenced by various factors, including age, gender, and skill sets. The communal nature of these societies suggests a level of social organization and cooperation essential for survival in challenging environments. The study of Neanderthal women's roles in their societies not only enriches our understanding of Neanderthals, but also provides insights into the evolution of human social structures and gender roles. It challenges the traditional narrative of prehistoric human societies as being male-dominated and highlights the importance of women in the survival and advancement of these early human groups. In conclusion, the evolving understanding of Neanderthal society, particularly the roles of women, represents a significant shift in our perception of human evolution. It underscores the complexity and diversity of early human societies and challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about gender roles in prehistoric times. The study of Neanderthal women opens new avenues for exploring the intricacies of human evolution and the development of social structures and roles in early human communities. It is an ongoing study and we will keep you updated. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again, take care.